This is English shorthand dictation number 317 and the dictation speed is 100 volts per minute. Ready? Start. The learned senior advocate appearing on behalf of one of the appellants accused has submitted that in the facts and circumstances of the case, the High Court has committed a grave error in quashing and setting aside the well-reasoned order passed by the learned CJM dismissing the complaint under section 156.3 of the Code of Criminal Procedure. It is submitted that the High Court ought to have appreciated that the learned CJM dismissed the application under section 156.3 of the Code of Criminal Procedure upon verifying the truth and veracity of the allegations made in the application, more particularly considering the fact that there was a delay of almost two years after the date of the alleged incident which has not been explained. It is submitted that the learned CJM was well within its jurisdiction to verify the truth and veracity of the allegations made in the application when such serious allegations were made after a period of almost two years after the date of the alleged incident and that in between though number of other complaints were filed against the accused and others at no point of time any allegation of rape on 29-11-2018 was made. It is submitted that while passing the impugned judgment and order and quashing and setting aside the order passed by the learned CJM, the High Court has wrongly relied upon and considered or applied the decision of this court in the case of Lalita Kumari versus Government of Uttar Pradesh. It is submitted that the High Court has materially erred in observing that while considering the application under section 156.3 of the Code of Criminal Procedure, magistrate has no jurisdiction at all to verify the truth and veracity of the allegations. It is further submitted that the learned single judge of the High Court is not right or justified in taking a contrary view than the view taken by the coordinate bench in the case of Mukul Roy. It is submitted that if the learned single judge of the High Court was of the opinion that the view taken in the case of Mukul Roy is not a correct law, in that case propriety demands that the learned single judge ought to have referred the matter to the larger bench rather than taking a contrary view. It is further submitted by the learned senior advocates appearing on behalf of the appellants that in the present case even the SHO after receiving the complaint in the month of October 2020 conducted a preliminary inquiry as per the law laid down by this court in the case of Lalita Kumari versus government of Uttar Pradesh and thereafter refused to register the FIR. Learned senior advocates appearing on behalf of the respective appellants have taken us to the number of emails 
and messages sent to one of the appellants from 30 11 2018 till march 2020 it is submitted that if he had committed the rape on 29 11 2018 as alleged in that case subsequently there was no reason for her to send emails and messages to the appellant it is further submitted that in between 29 11 2018 and october 2020 the complainant filed various complaints before various police stations against the very accused the first complaint was filed on 12 12 2019 the said complaint categorically mentions that she met the appellant however the complaint does not make any mention of the alleged incident of rape it is submitted that in the said fir the only allegations were that she was called by the top level leaders for four times in the last year november 2018 and each time they locked her for four to five hours and pressurized her to withdraw the case it is submitted that the said fir was registered as fir number 131 oblique 2019 it is submitted that the said case has been closed now as a closure report dated 16 6 2020 was filed in the aforesaid case it is submitted that thereafter another complaint dated 6 2 2020 was filed however there was no mention of any particular date of the alleged rape incident it is submitted that thereafter one more complaint was filed on 12 3 2020 wherein she did not mention about the alleged rape incident at all it is submitted that after a period of two years of alleged incident of rape the complainant filed a complaint dated 27 10 2020 in which for the first time she stated that in order to pressurize her to withdraw the 2018 case against amalendu chattopadhyay the appellants called her at the apartment of appellant number one and raped her on 29 11 2018 it is submitted that the learned cjm rightly observed that as there was an unexplained and inordinate delay of two years in making the complaint against the alleged offense it casts doubt regarding the truth and veracity of the allegations contained in the application under section 156.3 of code of criminal procedure it is further submitted by the learned senior advocates appearing for the respective appellants that while passing order dated 12 11 2020 the learned cjm made some pertinent observations to highlight that there was an inordinate delay in making the first police complaint against the alleged offense and that there existed sufficient inconsistencies to raise doubts regarding the truth and veracity of the allegations contained in the application under section 156 3 
it is submitted that firstly the learned CJM observed that according to the complainant the alleged offence took place on 29 11 2018